everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. How are you all today? Now firstly, thank you very much for all your comments on my Walk With Mother episode 3 that we did yesterday and yes it was very muddy, underfoot but very enjoyable all the same. I do pass on all of your comments to my mum. Um, now the candle that I've just lit is a Vanilla French Toast. That one is scrummy. It makes me really hungry. Makes me want to eat vanilla French toast. Now, as you can see, my hamper is filling up nicely. And today, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial how to sew up a little set of coasters. Now, these are padded so that they protect your table so you can use them for hot drinks as well as cold. Now, I've just made a set of two for you, but you can make how, however many you want. You can make just one for you or you could make 20, depending on whether they're for gifts, whether they're for you to use. Now, I've made mine in a festive print. But obviously you can make these at any time of the year. These would make fabulous Mother's Day gifts, um, fabulous for summer parties. They're fully washable. As I say, they're fully padded as well. Now I did use um, a sewing machine to sew up mine. Now that's not essential. They're quite a small project. You could hand sew them. And then when I show you how to do this top stitching, you could just do a nice neat running stitch all the way around the edge. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial and I will see you here afterwards. So for this tutorial, you're going to need two pieces of fabric. I have cut mine five inches by five inches. Now you can use different fabrics um, or the same. It's entirely up to you. On one piece of fabric on the back, I have already ironed on some fusible fleece. Now I've just used a scrap piece of that that I had left over. You could use a piece of felt or a piece of thicker fabric. The idea is that these mats will um, protect your table, so you do need something inside. So I just recommend this fusible fleece. You are going to need either some clips or some pins, whichever you prefer. You're going to need some scissors and some sewing thread. Now I'm going to sew these up on my sewing machine, but it's quite a small project, so you could do this by hand. So here we go. All you need to do to start with is a place right sides of the fabric together. Okay, and then you can either pin these in place or use your clips. I'm just going to put a pin in each corner. Okay. One more. And then you are going to sew like this. So you're going to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around. Okay, but on one of these sides, you're going to leave a turning gap, say about one to one and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to start here, go around and then finish leaving a turning gap.
I've sewn all the way around the edge, leaving my turning gap. Now I want to reduce any bulk that's in the corners, so I'm just going to cut those off. Just be careful not to cut your stitches. Okay. And then we're just going to turn this the right way out. So I've just popped out my corners using a pen without the nib out. <laughs> you could use a crochet hook or a knitting needle or anything that's not too sharp. Don't use your scissors because you may go through. Now when you're happy, what I'm going to do is pull this side taut where our opening is and that should automatically close but what we're going to do um, first of all is we're going to take this to our ironing board and just give it a quick press and then we're just going to top stitch around the outside. So the idea of doing this top stitching is not only does it make it look quite professional but it closes up that opening as well. So you need to do um, an allowance of about an eighth of an inch. Now I have a mark on my presser foot that I've put there so that I follow that. You may have a mark on your machine um, so you need about an eighth of an inch. So I always go back a few stitches before I start all the way round and then just try and keep the stitching as neat as you possibly can. Now when you've completed all the way around, you want to get that stitch in to match up. Go back a couple, forward, and then that's knotted off nicely. So there you have it. I have sewn all the way around. What you need to do is just check where your um, turning gap was. I think mine was here, that that is all in case which mine is. I have given this another press. Now I've made a pair of these and I'm going to give these as a gift. So I'm going to tie mine up with a ribbon. Now you can make these in sets of two, sets of four, sets of six. You can go mad and make loads of them. You can just make one single one for you to put your coffee on. It's entirely up to you. So there you go, not difficult at all, are they? So, and as I've used two different fabrics, I can have them either way, mix them up a little bit. So you could also use this tutorial if you're gonna do different shapes. You could do longer ones and make them into padded bookmarks, maybe as gifts. Now, as I said in the tutorial, I am going to tie mine together pop them in the hamper and then they are going to a couple for a gift for Christmas. Now I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I do hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is that you're doing. Do leave some comments down below, I do really appreciate it. Subscribe, like this video and I will see you here tomorrow for day 17. Bye bye.